rocks and rollovers. Welcome back to another episode of Flex, Rocks and Rollovers. Today we are at Black Moose, our local wheeling property here in North Georgia, just north of Atlanta. Our friend Mike Camber does a little event here today and I think we have a new rock garden here that we want to check out today. They, they did some work to the property and added a bunch of rocks and cut a couple of new trails so a bunch of cool people came out. Jacob is with me, he brought his Jeep out. Somebody put my tires at 40 PSI. So we're going down to like 13. We're gonna cruise around and just have a good time and play in the rocks a little bit. Let's go wheeling, see you guys later. Can you pop the hood for me for a second? What's your name? Wolf. Wolf. What's up, man? My son, cool this, is, this is my son, Bill. He designed, kind of built everything to do this. Nice, dude. That thing is cool. This was my wish list. You told me, hey, what do you want, Dad? And I was like, well, you know, I wanted to buy a new Jeep. And he's like, just hold on. Said, just tell me what you want. I, said, well, I want Cummins, you know, big Cummins motor. And he's like, all right, I'll make it happen. Here it is. That's cool, man. You know what kind of power it makes? Uh, you know, we don't know. All I know is that we hook up a 20-foot trailer and we put, put my son's buggy on it and all the guys just like, what in the world? That's a, <laughs> and they put it together. That's, that's awesome, that's man. Very cool. Yeah, that's So we're about to hit the first trail. We're about to enter into the woods. And yeah, we'll see how much we can get Jacob up. He has a, um, he doesn't have a real locker. He has a frog rocker, but no real locker. So we'll see. We're just gonna show him around the park, see what we can get into. And yeah, trail entry is here. Now I gotta get the Skydio down. It's been following me. And then we're gonna go hit it. Here, by the way, guys, this is the drone I've been using for forever. Now I'm, it's motion tracking right now. So I just turn it off and tell it to please land. Land now. Shabam. Live in the moment till I die. And I'm gonna chase it. And I'm gonna chase it. I know we can't be blown. an obstacle called V notch. Uh, we got John from Jeep taking there actually right now so we gotta get in line and then hit it. I take it this is the V notch on trail one. We'll park, film Marvin. V notch is always a good time. I don't know what it is with that obstacle. It doesn't look too hard but I've seen people destroy entire rigs on this obstacle and yeah I don't know what it is. I never really had a struggle on it but it also changes a lot every time we do it so I don't want to talk too soon here. And John, I feel like, is doing a new line that I'm not even aware of. That line to the left is new. Let's go check it out. That's a new line. 
I've ne down. never done this, I usually the line is just up here. That's it. <laughs> Dude, that sounded like dork. <laughs> that was a wild ride. That was felt like it wanted it. That's why I stayed on the gas. I may could have flopped it into second and maybe had it the first try. But that was a wild ride and it really sounded like I completely smushed my door on that tree. But all he got was here, down here a little bit, here. Uh, he took some wood in the GCO. All good. That was a hard line. Georgia clay for everybody that's around here or has wheeled around here. Georgia clay is no joke. Does not do any good to your tires, no matter what tires you run. line here on v-notch is in the books first obstacle of the day is in the books that was fun i needed that a little bit of ref limiter um yeah cool all right now we're gonna move on jacob's next to me lined up let's go let's go Heap Hill here at Black Moose. Ne I've never even seen this hill. It's a new one, I guess. Doesn't look too crazy, but again, Jacob over here doesn't have a real locker, so everything turns into a challenge. You ready for this? Let's do it. It's a lot more fun open anyway. Let's go. About a foot. Yeah, right there. Not too much. Yeah. Back up. I think you got to keep the momentum on this. Back up more. More, more, more. Yeah, back up. Yeah, back up. You got space. Go, 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 go. All right, right there. Yeah, that was 
wasn't bad. That's a good lunch right here. How'd that feel? Great, dude. Yeah. First time in a long time I've got the wheel. Good. And that was a good one. All right, turn around, come back down. Yep. Oh look, one of these Indian style trees. I don't know what exactly they call them, but this was some sort of Native American deal. They, uh, what is this again? They, they showed the direction to the nearest water. Okay. They bend the trees over. A lot of people will see small ones and say, oh, you know, that's Native American. But no, I mean, the older ones like that for sure. It points to water. Points Maybe to we water. should follow that. We should follow that. There is a waterfall around I know. somewhere. That's it, the waterfall. Now we're standing in front of the waterfall here at Black Moose. Pretty cool place. Right behind us is a big wakeboarding lake. And then you turn into here, you have this cool little climb. This is pretty technical. And then on the top, it's pretty dry today, but usually there's water flowing down. So we're going to hit that. And then there's an extension. If it's not too muddy, we're going to do the extension of it as well. So let's go. As we were coming back down the waterfall the jeeps had just shut off and now it won't turn back on um, i believe it is uh, vapor locking um, it seems like the fuel is getting hot the fuel rails are really hot so i don't know we're gonna sit here for a minute let it cool off see if it, it cranks back up we're in the middle of the waterfall trail here so not the greatest spot to just be stuck but we'll deal with it get some heat wrap and see what we can do with that all right we're hooking the jeeps are up to the that jeep down there and pull it at least to get it out of the trail i don't want to stand here and hold everybody up so we're going to hook it up and winch down 
That's the first. I don't think I've ever winched downhill. At least I don't have to wear a pink helmet this time. All right, so as soon as we winched down the hill, it started right back up. So maybe it's the pickup, the fuel pickup, where if I'm in an angle, it doesn't pick up fuel and it broke off or something, but I'm full on gas, so I don't know. We'll figure it out. We have a bunch, a couple more hours till the sun goes down. And uh, yeah, tomorrow we're gonna hit AOP, so we wanna get that figured out before tomorrow. We'll see. Let's move on. Continue the beautiful day here at Black Moose. Ready? Uh, What's up? My ride. Oh yeah, come on, ride with me. You hear that? Dead. All right, I just pulled it up on this wall here to get it on an angle and the Jeep died. So it might be pickup. Yeah. But why is the fuel rail hot then? Well, it might not have anything to do with fuel rail. Yeah. It could just be with pickup placement. All right, so this is how we figured that out. So Mr. Jacob over here is going to take on the rock garden, oh, right. a brand new rock brand garden. Brand new. Put it here last week. Let's so go. let's try it out. turn uh, passenger back up more 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 now turn little turn hard passenger oh as God. you go forward turn hard passenger no it wasn't enough okay uh, yeah back up like this more 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 okay hard hard passenger now as you go forward as hard as you can. Go, go, go. Pass it. Oh, thanks. You need to get your tire on that. Really need that PSC. All right, stop right there and then. Yeah, that's it. That should do it. Okay, hard passenger, hard. Yeah. See, keep going. All right, now ride that rock for a little bit and now come down on it. Keep it straight, keep your wheel straight for now. All right, and now turn into it. Turn into it. Okay. That's where you need your rear locker. Give it a little bump. All right. Hard 
start, you need to come way over here. Literally try to get your passenger tire on this. Yeah, keep on going, that's good. Yeah, now straighten out and give it. All right, now pass a uh, driver. Yeah. Good job. quick update on the Jeepster we fixed it and it turns out uh, it was just out of fuel my fuel gauge is stuck so we just put five gallons in it and my fuel gauge is still on almost full so definitely the fuel gauge not the pickup not the uh, uh, no vapor lock or anything we're good so now we're gonna hit this little rock garden here here Jacob Let's see if we can one shot this all right coming passenger you're good small rock you're good you're dropping in now please tell me you got a picture of that belly come passenger a little bit you're on your belly Now Jacob is taking his JKU up the waterfall. Again, no real locker, so let's see how this goes. And now 
come on, come on up. Now, slowly line yourself up, like crawl it and see where it wants to go until you're in a straight line and you feel safe, back up and bump it. This is kind of your line right here. And you want to end up through there, right? No it's problem. A pretty legit obstacle, yeah. man, and it's sort of wet. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to come out here after a good rain. I yeah. think it would be neat to do this with a bunch of water rushing down. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I mean. That's it, and you just got to commit on that last little bit here. Yeah, I have to stay committed. Yeah. Because it's a long way down if you don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you usually like you slide, then you catch on this dirt wall, and then you roll, and then you roll through there, and then you catch back on the trail, and it's like it's a long way. All right, thank you guys again for your overwhelming response of 24 Hell and Back. We really, really appreciate it. If you haven't checked out those videos yet, go back into our library and watch 24 Hell and Back at Rugged Mountain Ranch. You will not be disappointed. A fun day of wheeling is coming to an end. Um, the sun is slowly going down. We haven't broken anything. We figured out our fuel situation. It was a really, really fun day. We were just hanging out here at the rock garden and t t doing some hot laps here. I let Jacob drive the Jeepster for a little bit. And yeah, now we're going to load back up, head back home, get some sleep, and then we're headed to AOP tomorrow to meet up with the guys from Rockstar Garage and get into some trouble with these guys. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like the video, leave us a comment, and subscribe to the channel. See you guys next time.